Inkwell Isle has its fair share of unsolved mysteries, but none intrigued me quite as much as Miss Chalice's inexplicable cause of death. Ever since we had the pleasure to explore Inkwell's fourth isle, we learned that her motivations were not quite as altruistic as we were led to believe. In fact, when Cuphead and Mugman first encountered Miss Chalice in the mausoleum, she admitted that she was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. It didn't occur to me at the time, but I never thought to question her motivations to search for magic. It wasn't until Mugman first bit into an astral cookie that her true intentions were revealed. Although Miss Chalice had grown fond of her new friends, she had longed for her corporeal form for ages. But how did Miss Chalice die? And what was she like in life? In this video, we'll be exploring those very questions and use in-game evidence to propose the most likely cause of death and also provide some interesting theories on her past life as the legendary Chalice. So without further ado, let's take a journey to the ruins of Rugged Ridge. Located on Inkwell's Third Isle, this mountainous area inhabited by excavators gave way to a giant stone lift that descended into ancient ruins. Numerous monuments and statues in the ruins shed light on the otherwise non-existent history of Inkwell Isle and seem to have been heavily influenced by Greco-Roman architecture. Various sculptures seem to have been erected to honor warriors and heroes of the long forgotten age as they were commonly depicted wielding weapons or even emulating techniques used during sports competitions popular in those days, such as discus. One of the most interesting sculptures figured a regal mustachioed character that could have been mistaken for the Elder Kettle himself. Amongst all the immortalized dishes and cutlery being prominently displayed, there was one that caught my eye above all the others, a statue of a female cup wielding a broken spear. If the resemblance wasn't striking enough, then look no further. That's right, I believe this statue is actually a portrayal of Miss Chalice's true form she inhabited in ancient times. It's no coincidence that her transformation upon activating the third super has an uncanny resemblance to this statue and even wields the same spear. During this age, the legendary Chalice was a well-renowned warrior, but even so, she still met an untimely end. Now what follows is speculation, but it's highly likely that the plethora of mythological beasts that roamed the ruins, including the satyrs, dragons, and cyclops, were culpable for her demise. Upon closer inspection, the ruins seem to have signs that are indicative of a battle, such as the makeshift barricades that appear before reaching the castle walls. If we take a moment to examine this animated barrier, the crest and insignia seem to feature two wooden ladles, and considering that the pink-faced king spits out ink, it's possible that the dishware warriors were at war with other beings, possibly those that could harness the power of ink. Most interesting of all are the two words proudly displayed upon reaching the castle. The words Calix Enemy are inscribed on the second insignia that seem to belong to the dishware people. The word Calix is Latin for chalice or cup, and Enemy or animus is Latin for mind or soul. If we combine the two words, the meaning is undeniable. Calix Enemy quite literally translates to living cups. Although we may never know what transpired in this battle between mythological beasts and sentient cups and cutlery, the end result was Inkwell Isle a land where the two factions would coexist in harmony, that is, until the devil realized their souls were ripe for the picking. And that's all for this video. How do you think Miss Chalice died? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.